know, hey, there's a new trash company in town, everyone sees pink. You know, it, it's all over the place. So it's absolutely phenomenal. What differentiates us from, from our competitors is, is, is service. You know, trash is a simple business. You know, a customer's running their business, they don't want to worry about trash. Uh, all they want to know is it's getting picked up and, and uh, you know, and it's a non-issue for them. And if they get the idea that, hey, they can have a trash service that's local, price competitive, and they're helping out the community with a pretty pink foundation, man, they're all like, just, just sign us up, can you? Just, just figure out a way we can get it done. We are about um, first servicing the community for their trash and recycling, but secondly, to donate monies from each and every invoice to the Pretty and Pink Foundation to help support men and women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Pretty and Pink Foundation is a nonprofit. We serve all of North Carolina. Um, and what we do is when a man or a woman has been diagnosed with breast cancer, um, that's where we come in, especially if they do not have insurance or if they're underinsured. And of course, when I got the news, it was devastating, but I uh, wasn't going to let it change our plans of moving down here. I wasn't going to let it stop me from doing what we wanted to do. And um, at that time, also, the trash business was a, a thought in the back of our head, but we hadn't started it yet. So um, I did half my treatment up in New York and had um, procedures done up there and uh, finished my um, treatment down here. And um, was looking to just start anew, to leave that nightmare behind me and uh, to start anew down here. And that's what we've done. You go home every day, you throw something in your garbage bag, you really don't think about it. Garbage ball, trash can. You know, you don't really think about it, but at the end of the day, that ends up somewhere. Someone's got to bring it there, and it's a process. We met Chris, what, 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. And he decided to move to town and start a trash business, so we jumped on board with our, you know, Inman Septic. We just merged. Just kind of went together and the Inmans and the Buffaloes and went at it. We're just a, a phenomenal team here. I mean, the, the Inman family, the Buffaloes, and, and, and the team we've organized here that are growing uh, with the company, it's just, just tremendous. But my boys has all evolved in a roundabout way with the pink trash and the sep tank business right on. So that's unusual for them. They had to leave the sons and all of them still works, works together and get along together. Well, it obviously gets a lot of attention, but um, it's something that we've got to have anyway. And to be able to do this and can help, you know, with some charitable activities, I mean, it's, it's really a no-brainer. Trash business is tough. Um, it's a war. It's a war, yeah. Um, and uh, we're the little guys right now, but we don't plan on staying that way. And uh, we've had some tough competition and some not so nice things said, but um, truth of the matter is that we're a community-based company. We're here to support the community. All, th all, all three of our, our national competitors pretty much said this, like, hey, you guys got to stop. Like, stop, we didn't even get started. You know, what, do, what do we do wrong? They went into one of my customers and offered them free trash service guaranteed for three years. And I can do trash for a reasonable rate, but I can't do it for free. I mean, I just, I, I can't, but they can. This Kenny can help you. Hey, Sheila. Well, good. What did you, what did you finally end up telling them? Access our contract. They did what now? They faxed up our contract. Uh huh. And it, it took me a while, you know, I, but I finally noticed, like in the paragraph, you know, we had written 12 months in instead of three years. 
Uh -huh. And my dad had also marked out the 12 months, like it says, in renewing for 12 months. Uh huh. He marked that out. So, so you, so you had to be a lawyer. Yeah. Just to get out of your contract. Well, you go, girl. I'm proud of you. Yep. So we're we're good. I canceled it as of today. All right. They're gonna come get it Monday. I tell you, uh -huh. it was it took a while, but um, yeah, we finally got it taken care of. They are. They tried. They tried to give us a cheaper rate and give us two months free, and I just told them no. Businesses in these days, the commerce area, they're going to have to get really creative. You're going to have to have that human touch. And that's what Kelly and the Coastal Ladies Carding folks have done. Their hearts are in the right place. And they're just taking one man's trash, becomes Pretty and Pink's treasure.